Hello. In this lecture, we will cover the groups and group security. So first we will start with groups. What are groups? So in Appian, whenever we are creating any application and we wanted to set some hierarchy or we wanted to set some security of objects in Appian applications or the application security, then we create groups, right? And uh, we can use this object. I just need to go inside this new button and then I can click on this groups. So whenever we are creating a group or any of the application objects, we just need to make sure we are using application prefix. So as you can see, we are using the application prefix in our case, which is FA. And uh, I will create one group which will be all users. So in an application, uh, it's best practice to create two groups always. First is all user and the second is admin groups. So right now, I am creating all user groups and I can give the description as all user groups and currently there are no other groups so parent group should be empty and parent group members so in the group members let's add one group member which is low code which is my user and the group type is custom I can choose any other group type if I have created one so in this application I have not created any of the group type and these are some by default options you don't have to worry about this right now these are just simple options I can directly hit the create button and here again I need to set the security but currently there is no admin groups because we cannot give any other permission level to the groups you can see no access is there if I'll try to create one more then only administrative permission should be there and we cannot even edit this so currently as we don't have any admin group so i will not use this i will directly hit the, hit the save button and now my all users group is created you can see there is only a single member single member and which is low code if i'll go back i can also create one more group which will be my admin group the same thing i need to do and i can name this admin group or directly admins and I will write it here all admin users and then the parent group I can select but we will select it later on and now again I need to give the group member name so I will select one member which is Mukesh and uh, the group type is custom and other by default options now I already have created this group FA admins this is my admin group which I'll be using for my application now I can use this group to give the permission level so I will use the same group which I have just created FA admins and you can see the warning is not coming so this is the best practice to use a groups in this permission level not directly use a user groups is the best thing to do right and uh, we have already selected the admin group let's click save and now my two groups are created so this is how we can create a group and let's do one thing um, you can see these two buttons are there first is flat view and the other is hierarchical view so currently when i'm clicking on this and in the other one also the same thing is happening right because there is no hierarchy these are independent objects or we can say independent groups so what i need to do i need to set the parent of admin right so how i can do that i will go inside the properties inside the properties this is empty now i can select fa all users right so this is how we can select the parent but why we are selecting this parent because Whoever will be the members of admin groups should be all users, right? It's a straightforward thing. For example, whenever I will be selecting admin group to give some permission or some visibility criteria to any of the object, then whoever will be a part of admin group should have that permission level, right? And the group members who is not the part of that uh, admin group should not have that permission right so i'll show you it's slightly confusing but it's straightforward so now you can see i have selected parent of admin as a all user so if i'll go inside this hierarchy you can see the all users is only coming and if i go inside all users you can see all members are coming with the groups also because we have selected this as a child that's why the 
users inside this is now coming here also you can see my name here right i'm the admin my name is also here in the all user so right now i'm the child right so i will be having the permission of admin group as well as of the all user group so that's the relationship of this groups right and uh, whenever we are selecting any group for example we are setting up uh, the security of a folder and now we have selected a group here and the childs which we will be creating inside that folder will automatically inherit that security we'll see that when we are setting the application security so now that's all about the groups how we can create the groups and how we can manage the relationship between the groups by setting parent and child relationship and we can use groups for security purpose for example we need to check some visibility criteria also then also we can use groups or we need to set the securities of any of the object or the application security that's all in this lecture